Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play for Day Z. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna try some Day Z here. Um, I don't know much about this game. I I never played the uh, the Day Z uh, from Arma 2. I did buy it, but I never really played it. And uh, now that the standalone's out, I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, this game's been uh, pretty hyped. It's been, people have been going nuts over it, asking me to play it. So uh, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. Now this game's a lot like rust if you kind of took out the building and crafting elements um it's basically got its own structures and you just kind of it's you just kind of come around and try and survive it, it's a lot more survivability than rust uh it has like temperature changes you have to stay warm you know food and drink is a much bigger like problem in this game I don't, and rust doesn't even have drink uh pvp element uh, it doesn't seem to be too much of the pvp element yet but um the game uh, is more like the zombies are an issue for me right now. And as the game gets more and more popular and uh, more and more people start playing it, I'm sure the PvP thing will come into account. Uh, this game is in super early, early alpha. Um, even more so alpha than most other games. When they released it, they actually didn't do too much... Uh, <clears throat> they didn't do too much, like, uh, you know, advertisement on it because, you know, it's, it's kind of just... They're kind of just stress testing and stuff and uh, testing it out. It's super, super alpha. And I don't even, I know there's guns in the game, I'm just not sure which kind, I don't think there's a lot. Uh, I've heard people say that you can get pistols and stuff, but I really don't know too much about it. Uh, I just know that, like, it's very bare bones right now, and they're just going to keep adding stuff to it. The game runs a little bit weird on my computer. Uh, I do have some friends that play, uh, some of you guys watching my channel might know Partially Royal. He, he does Let's Plays on this game, uh, excellent Let's Plays. And uh, he told me that he knows, like... Uh, Things I can change about my graphics that'll help it run a little smoother. Uh, ooh, is that a shovel? All right. So here, right here, is the inventory screen, and I'm going to explain this as best I can, uh, knowing what I know. All right. On the right hand side is my inventory. I have uh, a t-shirt, a black t-shirt, and I have a pair of uh, athletic shoes. I also have a pair of black jeans, and I think what this means right here is I have pockets, so I can put stuff in my jeans. Uh, one thing I can do is I can I have a flashlight, but to be honest with you, I don't need the flashlight because this is an all-the-time day server. So I'm going to get rid of that flashlight, and I'm going to actually grab the shovel. And can I not... Maybe I could put it in my hands. Ooh, I can't take the shovel at all? Yeah, I, I can have the shovel, but I, I can't put it anywhere except for in my hands. And what is this? A uh, black motorbike helmet. So let's go ahead and uh, put that on our head, I guess. It looks like the server's lagging a little bit. There we go. Now, this uh, motorbike helmet will protect against some gunfire and, and stuff, and uh, it's not bad. I do have the shovel, but the shovel, st it still, still says the shovel's in the vicinity, and it also says it's damaged. Let's see if I can... Let me see what else I can get in this area. I think I see some gloves on the ground here. There we go. We got some uh, beige working gloves. Never heard of that before. Let's go ahead and put those on. And there we go. Now we got some gloves. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. I think there's my flashlight. It looks like there was like two shovels or something. I guess. I don't know. Let's see if we can equip the shovel. Uh, shit number one. Do I even have the shovel? I, I think I have the shovel. I should be able to um, just take out the shovel. It's weird. I'm not sure if I actually have it. Like, I'm assuming this is kind of like my hotbar. I think I have the... I don't know, that's weird. And I can't put it anywhere else on me. Oh, okay, I can put it on my back. Alright, that's cool. So let's do that. And now I might be able to take it out, let's see. There we go, now I got the shovel. And then this is just a nice basic defense against zombies. Uh, I don't think it's going to do too much against players, but uh, it gives me some good defense against zombies, which is really nice. And I just want to say right off the bat, guys, that you guys are probably all going to know more about this game than I do. Uh, I'm going to do my best, but this is very much a blind let's play on a game that I'm not really familiar with. And uh, do me a favor, if you guys have any comments or tips, anything you want to help me out with, uh, please let me know in the comments section. That would be awesome. Now, I would actually like to up the graphics a little bit because the graphics don't look the best. But the problem is my frame rates are taking a hit. And like I said, uh, my buddy uh, Partially Royal uh, said he knows some things I can do with the frame rate to, you know, help that out. Some little uh, things I can adjust and help the frame rate. Ooh, can I take that? Yes, I can. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, so... Uh, pull the pin, start back 10 feet. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my inventory 
on that. I mean, who knows? That might have some uses, but there's none that I know of, and I really need to start finding some food and stuff. So, let's see. Alright, so let's check out in here. This looks like just a normal room. Looks like there's another shovel on the ground. I don't need another shovel. Yeah, my uh, my frames have actually taken quite a hit here. I'm going to have to... He was uh, partially where he was playing this on 60 frames per second while recording, so uh, I'm definitely going to... And his his uh, his computer's better than mine, but it's like my computer's pretty good. So I'm going to have to talk to him and get some of these worked out. If you guys want to see more of this game, uh, you know, mention it in the comments. And uh, by the way, you press F. Yeah, you press F to interact with things. I keep trying to press E, and pressing E is like a little... Uh, like a little lean option, like this, E and Q. So I guess if you're like shooting, you could like kind of peek your head out around a corner or something. Okay. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. Um, I'm gonna do this if you guys want to see it. Uh, I'm here to I'm here to please you guys, and uh, the game actually looks pretty interesting. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Canned sardines, badly damaged. Now I have no way of opening that. But I'm assuming I will figure out a way at some point. I could find a, a, a can opener. You can open it with can openers. You can open it with axes. I might even be able to hold, open it with a shovel. But uh, I'm going to wait until the last minute before I waste a shovel on it. Because if you open it with something you're not supposed to open it with, like a, a shovel or an axe, or like if you open canned food with something like a shovel or an axe or a screwdriver, you lose some of the canned food. So uh, I don't want to do that unless I have to. All right. We got down here. Nothing, I already was in here. Okay, I think this room is completely, uh, completely done. Alright. The game actually doesn't feel that bad when it's running on good, when I'm getting a good FPS, but right now my frames are just, like, I'm getting like 17 frames a second, and, um, uh, yeah, I really want to, you know, deal with that. But, uh, what's that, shoes? I could use some shoes. No, wait. Yeah, I already got shoes. Can I do anything with them? Take them or inspect them. Alright, they're just a couple of shoes. I'll take them for now. Oh, I can't put them in my pocket. Oh, I can, but it takes up two slots. Okay. Can I do anything with them? I can't do anything. I'll probably end up dropping those later. Alright, let's get on out of here. Did I check that room right there? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Alright. Uh, we got a little pier here. The, uh, the ocean sounds are really nice. I was just at the ocean the other day in real life. And, uh, yeah, it's, I love the sound of the ocean. It looks like we've gotten almost everything in here, to be honest. I think there might be... Nah. I've gotten everything. Let's move along. Now, it looks like we got some houses over here. I'm gonna go check out those houses over there. And, uh, there's no map to this game that you start with. Like, you press M, there's no map. But you can actually get a, um... You can actually find a map, and it comes in, like, pieces, and you have to, like, craft it to, like, make a full map. Like, you kind of get pieces of the map. It's pretty interesting. Definitely gonna keep an eye out for that stuff. Another weird thing about this game is the controls are very strange. Like, uh, you know, I'm playing in third person. I'll probably play most of the game in third person, unless I absolutely have to go back to first person. But for now, this'll do. And you hold down the right mouse button to zoom in. You can uh, hold down Alt and Free Look. Kind of look to your sides and stuff. I think you can look almost behind you. It's pretty nice. I like that. And you press space bar. Now, I'm not quite sure what this does, but it puts me in, like, kind of a like a fighting stance. It's kind of weird. I'm not quite sure what that means. But, uh, yeah. Okay, see that little red chain thing? That means I'm having connection issues with the server that I'm on. Uh, this is a day-only server, which is nice because, you know, doing YouTube videos at night is, like, the worst thing ever. You know, you can't see anything. Nobody wants to see that. So I'll probably try and play day-only games. Or uh, I actually I do have an auto exposure. I do have an auto exposure thing for my um, uh, with my rendering software where I could show you night, like it's almost like daytime. But still, I don't want to play in all nighttime and stuff. It's annoying. All right, let's see if we got anything in here. Nope. Now, whenever you're looking for something in area, you just press tab, and then you can look in the vicinity. That's how you basically find and pick up loot. All right, these frames are getting really bad. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Looks like we got some books. Nope. That's weird. I don't know what the, Ooh, zombies. You hear that? That's not good. Alright. I am going to check my timer because I actually want to 
I want to play more, but I also want to like mess around with my with my game and see if I can get my FPS up. Let me uh, let me actually pause the video here, and I'm gonna see what I can do to get the frames per second up. So I'll be right back. Okay, that's pretty cool. I actually didn't. Uh, I didn't even have to like exit out of the game. I just changed a couple things. I changed some of the shadows, uh, and I what I did was I allow I uh, allowed uh, double the amount of memory that it was letting it was go it was using from my computer. It was weird. It was only like saying to use one gigabyte of memory, but I don't know why that would be. Um, I put it up as high as I could too. I might even put it on auto next time because I have like this this machine I got has 12 gigs of memory. There's no reason to only be using one. So, all right, let's open up some doors here. Oh, I think I closed the one behind me. You can't open all doors, so don't see anything in the vicinity. Anything over here? Man, there's nothing here. I wonder if people looted stuff. There's there's a decent amount of players on the server. So, actually, one other thing. Let me. Uh, normally, I wouldn't do this on video, but you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to actually go to controls, and I'm going to up the mouse sensitivity a little bit. There we go. It's a little better. Be able to turn around a little quicker. Yeah, I don't see anything in the area. That's kind of weird that there'd be nothing here. Uh, ooh, can I open that door? No. I can come out here. The third person is a little annoying when you're inside, but um, that's okay. Not not a big deal. Now I think you can jump over this stuff. You gotta hit like a button, G, V, yeah, V, but it's too high for me to jump. I think I just heard a zombie. Let's be a little quiet here. I really need to find some food. I must need to drink and eat pretty soon. All right, this door's already been open. All this stuff's been open. Yeah, there's been people here. That's what's going on. There's been people here. Damn it. Oh, what's over here? Oh, a wrench. I'll take that. Let's get rid of these stupid shoes. There we go. See how the things take up a certain amount of room? It's very, uh, it's very realistic. You just can't carry everything in a little bag. You know, you got pockets. If you get a backpack, you can use the backpack. It's very realistic in that way. I do like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Can we open this? We're still getting some stuttering frame rate issues, but uh, it's definitely a lot smoother than it was before. All right, let's. Uh, I don't see anything else. I might be missing stuff. I'm not really, you know, good at this. <laughs> Can I go up here? Nope. All right, I think this house is done. Let's move on to the next one. Is that the one we came out of? I think it is. Let's try this house over here. See, that's what most of this game is, man. Searching and, and scavenging and just, you know, finding stuff. It's a big part of the game. Just trying to survive. I'm guessing it's cold because you can see my breath. So that's going to be a concern. I mean, I'm just running around in a t-shirt. Let's open that. Nothing there. Okay, we got an apple. It might be rotten. Oh, 100% apple. Good, 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 good. Now, I wonder if I should eat that right now. Ooh, is that a backpack? Oh, green hoodie. Oh, green hoodie. I can live with that. There we go. That'll help with the cold a little bit. And it gives me some more pockets. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our t-shirt and put it in here. And uh, you can tear that up into rags. And basically what rags are for is rags are when you're bleeding. You use rags to stop yourself from bleeding. It's kind of like bandages and rust. So, but we're going to... We're not going to do that just yet. I don't know why. We probably should. But uh, that's okay. We really need to find some water. The last thing I saw was that I'm really thirsty. But, uh, yeah, it's good that I found a, uh, it's good that I found a jacket. I'm not sure exactly how the cold and stuff affects you. Again, guys, if you, uh, if you have some information for me, and I know you do, give me a help and, uh, let me know in the comments. I much, much appreciate it. If you guys give me good enough tips, uh, good help, and I remember, then I will, uh, I'll write your names down and mention you in an upcoming video. Because I really need your tips, because I'm total noob with this. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, what's this? Looks like, like a rabbit where you keep rabbits or something or some kind of animal. I do hear a zombie. I don't know where the heck he is, though. Now, I guess you can't open any of these doors down here, so let's go on upstairs. I guess all these buildings are on the same kind of, uh, 
you know, they're all the same kind of building, so... And definitely someone has been in here. What'd they leave? Uh, okay, a cap. Description. Let's see what that says. Uh, nothing. It's just a hat. I will hold on to that for the time being, but I don't know how long I'm going to hold on to that. It's taking quite a bit of room, and I kind of like my helmet, to be honest. Alright, I don't see anything else in here. There's a book. I guess I can't take that. I like the vicinity button. Uh, that's that's a lot better than when I was first playing. When I was first playing the game, I was getting, uh, you know, I was just looking for things on the ground and trying to click on them. And no, pressing tab and looking in the vicinity is a much better way of doing things. Right, I'm kind of nervous on going over here because this is where I think I was hearing the zombie. But, um, yeah, this place has been looted. So annoying when you come to a place. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where else to go. What's that? What is it? I should be staying close enough to it. Looks like another hat. Alright, so we got some hats here. So let's see if we could tear up the hat. We can't tear up the hat. I know you could tear that into rags. Let's tear that into rags. Why not? Uh, but you can't tear up hats, so there's... I guess there's no point in taking another hat. <clears throat> I see those... I see these hats a lot in this game. On Let's Plays and stuff I watch. So I guess they're pretty... You know... Pretty common. So... What's that? What's that in the cupboard? Can I open that? No, it doesn't look like I can open any cupboards. You'd think I want to... Oh, what's that? Is that a lighter? Oh, we got some ammo. Some, uh... Four or five APC rounds. A pistol cartridge designed by John... Well, you don't care about that. It's pistol rounds. Alright, so that's cool. We got some pistol rounds. Whatever that means. If I get a pistol, I probably wouldn't be able to hit the side of a barn anyway. This game does not play like the uh, traditional FPS, so I probably wouldn't be that good at it. Open the damn door, man. What the hell? Um, I think it's glitching through and opening a door somewhere else. I remember Royal saying that it does that sometimes. So, Alright, whatever. This looks done. Let's get out of here. And uh, we're going to search this building. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of us searching buildings. Uh, for now, I have a lot to talk about. But if there ever gets to a point where I'm just searching and I don't have much to say, then I will, uh, you know, I will cut videos when needed. But I uh, really need your help, guys. We need your tips. I need you to help with the lag. If I Actually, I'm kind of enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would. And if you guys can help me with the lag, you're going to see a lot more videos of this. Uh, I'm not the greatest DayZ player, but I do what I can and I'll... I'll do my best to entertain you, but I'm, I'm actually having quite a good time. And why why play a game without recording it, right? That's my motto. That should be like my, my channel motto. Why play a game without recording it? Man, I really wish I could find some water, though. Ooh, a cap. Alright, now a cap isn't really good for much. What is it going to do? Keep the sun on my eyes? It's not really a problem. Alright, what do we got in here? Can we open that? Oh, what's that? Is that a backpack? Oh, yeah. A blue backpack. Now, that's what I've been waiting for. Check this out. Now, I have all this inventory in here on my backpack. Now, if I could just find some damn water, you know, I'd be doing a lot better. Because I've got to be, like, the water's got to be a problem now for me. Uh, you know, I kind of feel like finding water in this game is even harder than it would be in a real zombie apocalypse. I'm pretty sure... I could go find a river somewhere pretty easily uh, in real life. Um, I guess it depends on where you live, but this is pretty open country. Where's all the rivers? Maybe there are rivers. I don't know. Are there rivers, guys? Let me know. Uh, I've watched a lot of Let's Plays, so I haven't seen one find rivers. All right, what do we got over here? Nothing. There's nothing ever in those? Man. Now, I don't think this place was looted because uh, the door was closed, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't see anything in the area. Alright, let's, uh, looks like that's it for this place. Now I'm getting a little confused on what I've been, where I've been and where I haven't been. So, if I end up going to the same place, I apologize. And I'm going to be quite lost, you know, running around in this game, so I apologize for that as well. Now, that's, that's that rabbit feeder area, I think, uh, but this is not the same one that I came in at. Oh, zombies, get away. Get away. Mother freaking 
Ugh. Stupid zombie, die! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this is so ineffectual. Swing it. Looks like I'm blocking. This isn't going well. How could they still be alive? I'm whacking the crap out of them. How did, am I doing something wrong here? Come on, ladies. I know I'm sexy, but give me a break. Jesus, come on. Are you serious? What do you have to do to kill them? What am I doing wrong, guys? What am I doing wrong? Should I run? I don't even know. I'm bleeding. Alright, that one went down. Can you loot these zombies either? I really don't know. I don't think so. Come on, die already. Die already, you zombie skank. Alright, now I'm bleeding. Okay, so what I have to do here is right click and... Ooh, I could split rags. Oh, okay, I see. Right click and use. And that should take care of my bleeding problem. Although, my thirst problem is still an issue. So, let's see. There we go, we're not bleeding any longer. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool, I like that. They took a long time to die. I was watching, uh, like I said, I was watching, uh, I was watching Partially Royal playing. He did have an axe, but I didn't think an axe would be that much better than a shovel. But maybe it is. Alright, I've really got to find something to drink. I can't believe this. Uh, all these, all these, like, refrigerators, and there's nothing to freaking drink. Well, I guess that makes sense, you know, the... Uh, Stuff wouldn't be all over the place in a zombie apocalypse. It, it, it'd probably all be used. Everything would be looted. Nothing would be left behind. Alright, I, I don't know where to go for water, guys. Like I said, if um if there's water in the woods, please let me know. Uh, a river? Can I drink out of it? Do I need a bottle for it? Is there Are there rivers? Uh, I need to know because I'm kind of... I don't know where to go. I think I'm gonna... I'm pretty sure this town's almost looted. Uh, so I'm gonna, like... Go on down the road. And I'll check this one house on the left up here. Oh, two more houses. One on the left, one on the right. And I'm, I'm surprised I'm in so much trouble with the with the, uh, the agua, you know. Uh, oh, I think I can jump over this fence. There you go. You press V to uh, jump over those fences. Now, this is by no means a tips, tricks, and tutorials. This is not a how-to. This is just me, when I do understand something, letting you know. And I'm not going to be understanding a lot. <laughs> Alright, that hoodie does take up a lot of room, I, but that's okay. I have a lot of room for it now, so what do we got here? We got some uh, canned beans. Got a radio. Probably can't take that radio. Alright, what do we got over here? Anything? Nothing? Nothing? Man, no water. So thirsty. Orange raincoat? That's interesting. Alright. I guess if there's weather... I know there's weather in the game. Maybe if there's weather and getting wet is a big issue, I could wear that raincoat. Something I do appreciate about this game is the, the realism, the pockets, the amount of storage room, uh, the fact that you're cold, you're hungry, you know, things are important. Uh, I just wish, like I said, I wish there was, like, rivers I could drink out of. And, and like I said, there might be. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to mention it again. Please let me know if there's rivers. What's the best way to get drinks? Because that seems to be the biggest problem I'm having right now. And when I was playing this earlier, when I first got it, I, uh, that was the biggest problem I had in that version, too. Alright, let's see. We got anything around here? I don't see anything. Really? Nothing? Oh, boy. Can't cut a break here. I wonder if I could drink out of the outhouse. I'm desperate, bro. <laughs> Guess not. This ain't Fallout 3, man. Can't drink out of the toilet. Alright, guys. I do not know how this game works when you leave and come back. Um, but if I do leave and come back and I'm in the same spot I am, I'm going to head up this road to uh, Kama, Kama Pobo or whatever, and uh, we'll pick up then. Uh, but that's going to be the, it for this video, and that's going to be it for episode one, and I'll see you next time for episode two. Don't forget to leave those comments and tips, and if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Take it easy.